everyone and welcome back to Big Oggy World. Today is Sunday and we are getting really close to Christmas Day. I think it's only about two weeks left, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is when you're going to be seeing it. No, no, but no, no. Mir miracle of editing. Could Absolutely, be it could be any time, but it is a Sunday. So I apologize for my attire because Sundays are my busiest day of the week. And I usually end up doing ironing and all sorts of stuff. That bleach. Yeah, so I've got the bleach top on. Yeah. And my leggings with the holes in, and it, you know, it's just the comfy anymore, stuff. It's the comfy stuff on a Sunday. So, I'm going to be doing something that has um, a lot of memories for me actually as a child, and that is a baked apple. Now, this is a Waitrose recipe, um, which is completely different to the way that I usually do baked apples. Um, and this one is going to have a lovely salted caramel sauce with it, which comes Ooh. from. Baileys, and who doesn't love a Baileys at Christmas? I thought you never had that when you were a kid. Bring no. back memories, no. Um, but this recipe is for salted caramel. Now, I don't have the salted caramel Baileys. Well, why would you buy a bottle of salted exactly. caramel Baileys? So, I'm going to use normal Baileys, but I'm going to add a pinch of salt to it, and I reckon that'll probably do just the job. Can't see any difference, really. So, um, it's done slightly differently. This one has got oats in it, which mine's never had oats in it. We're using eaten apples, always use an eaten apple anyway, don't use bramlers, they're too, too sharp. Um, um, the recipe actually says a royal gala, so I bought royal gala apples. Yeah, if we were doing it ourselves, we normally use coxes if we could find them. Yeah, but coxes tend to be quite small. Yeah. And this is different in as much as when you core the apples now, you're not going to go all the way through. So you're going to core down sort of almost to the bottom and then you're going to stop. So that's going to take a little bit of fiddly work, but it makes sense in as much as then the filling is not going to drop out through the bottom of the apple. The other thing that you're going to do is um, the recipe actually says 30 grams of sultanas and 30 grams of pecans. Now we're not keen on nuts in, well, I'm not keen and nor are the children. John would love pecans I'm in this. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I've just doubled up on the sultanas and we're going to go with that. Um, so obviously that's going to sit inside your apple and when you put them in the oven for some reason you're going to put 200 mils of warm water in the bottom of your dish. Yeah, it's a whole different way of doing it to what Absolutely. we're used to so it's a whole new experience for us too. So I'm going to get going. The first thing I need to do is obviously try and core out my apples. I'll come back when I've done that because that's going to take me a little bit of time so I'll see you in a little minute. So I have now cored my apples. Um, it wasn't as tricky as I thought it was going to be. Um, best thing though is to use an apple corer because that is much more easier than trying to fish it out with a knife. Um, and obviously you don't want to cut yourself so be very careful with that. And obviously with an apple corer you can core out as much as you like to make sure you can get lots of filling in. Bonus as far as I can see. So there's the apples ready. So the next thing is to tip your butter. This is unsalted butter today so you put your butter and a teaspoon of cinnamon now see that's funny you're using unsalted butter in a salted caramel yeah thing yeah hmm. i don't know why but it no, says fine. so teaspoon of cinnamon you sort of need your butter to be slightly soft which it is mash it together with the cinnamon And then once you've got that mashed in, you add in your sultanas. Or nuts or dried fruit. Whatever you're going to use, yeah. I think cranberries would work in this thing. I, you know, I was thinking of cranberries, but unfortunately really nice we didn't have any. So We've eaten them all. <laughs> a yeah, sorry about that. A tablespoon of light muscovado sugar. And that goes. Again, dark sugar is fine. And a tablespoon of oats. Yeah, you've got now these flour ones. Yeah, I guess word right. It says um, to use the essential stuff, so cheap, cheap well, oats. They would advertise that because that's their company. So but obviously, we're going to use what we got. So just one tablespoon of that. I presume that's to soak up some of the juice. Yep. And then you mix this stuff together. Try 
try and give it a good mix so that you've got it all combined. Don't mind, you know, don't worry if it takes a few minutes, just you want to be able to get a bit of everything in each apple. So, so that's that all mixed in. And the next thing to do is to stuff your apple. I'm going to get a teaspoon for that. So I'll try and get as much in as I can. Obviously, share it out a bit first. But then if you've got spare, which you will have, you can pile it on the top. But make sure you get them well stuffed inside first. Try and sort of squidge it down so there's a good lot of filling in there. Nice, John? Uh, yeah, if you're in sucking noise, as it's me sucking my fingers, um, I've just worked out that one way of getting more of the stuff into the holes is to push your finger in there. Works for me. Right. So that's all of our filling in the apples. Now we are going to pour 200 mils of warm water in the bottom and they're going to go into a little baking dish, don't have too big a baking dish and they're going to go in the oven at 180 for 35 to 45 minutes depending obviously on how big your apples are. So um, I'll do that and I'll be back and then we'll sort out the sauce. Right, next thing is the sauce. So to start your sauce, you are going to use your, again, unsalted butter into a small pan. Would help if I plugged it in. Like a warm woman band, you're right today, love. I am. So you pop your butter in and you're gonna melt your butter. You're gonna melt your butter. Obviously, don't rush it, do it quite slowly. And you're going to put your uh, light brown muscovado sugar in too. Your cream, double cream this time. And that goes. of it out, don't want to waste any. And a pinch of salt. And you need to put a pinch of salt in even if you have got the salted caramel baileys. So obviously though I've put a little bit more in because we haven't got the salted caramel one. So now all you're going to do is Stir it until the sugar is completely melted with your butter and things. And then we're going to simmer it for a couple of minutes before we add our Baileys. Do you know the problem I have with actually filming all of these things for Christmas, John? The fact that we can't have music on. I know. Yeah, it's all part of the copyright problems. We can't. Um, yeah, but it's just like. Sing. Feel free to sing. Yeah. But you know what I'm like? I like to sing along to music when I'm in you, the kitchen. You can sing along now. I'm sure everyone would love it. I'm sure they would. Or not. <laughs> You're trying to say my singing voice isn't brilliant? No, you have a bit of a high pitched voice. Right. Quite a funny little squeaky voice when you start singing, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I still love you though. That's a squeaky boy. Let's, let's change the subject. How are you getting up? It's coming together really quickly. Obviously, my butter was at room temperature anyway. And I think my cream would probably come up to room temperature also. So that all, all makes it melt in together a lot quicker. As you can see, it's sort of looking caramelly now. It's got a lovely shine to it. It has. And it's definitely thickening. So I'm going to move out your way. I'm going to lower it down and we're just going to stir it for one minute. Make sure that it's all combined. 
and then we're going to remove it from our heat and stir in the baileys and that basically is your sauce done um, it's there's quite a lot of sauce so if you add spare sauce it says that it's absolutely fabulous just poured over um, vanilla ice cream like a caramel sort of sauce on your ice cream and you can also serve your apples with ice cream if you would like as well as the caramel sauce smells wonderful we're done for there so I'm going to move that out of the way a bit like that and then I'm going to add my Baileys I can't believe you're actually going I to measure it. I am actually going to measure it. It says between, are you supposed to shake Baileys? I never really know. I always think you should, yeah. Anything with a kind of cream base will probably separate at some point. Just want to see it in the bottle. Right. That's when you get like the really strong bit at the end of the Yeah, thing. that's right. The good bit. One. I'll go for three. Three, yeah. Two. I've gone for a sizable couple of glugs. Yeah. Three. Stir it in. And there, my friends, is your salted caramel Bailey's sauce. Can you see that, John, or do you need to come in with a close up? I can do uh, a close up. Yep, looks good to me. I'm going to pour it into a glass jug. Sorry, I don't have a fancy custard jug or whatever, but maybe that's something for the shopping list for next year. Yeah, you never know. Obviously, it's very hot. Yeah, be careful with, with any kind of caramel type thing. thing. So, you now have a choice. You can go and eat your apples and pour your sauce on right now while it's really hot, or you can let it cool down a bit. You can just use it whenever you like. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, didn't mention at the beginning, but as you always know, all the recipe details will be in the information below. Um, if you've not subscribed, please do. If you are subscribed, please make sure you've hit the notification bell so that you know when everything's coming usually at the moment we're doing four o'clock every day up to Christmas and then we'll probably go back to two or three times a week in yeah, the probably new three, year. Probably three a week in the new year. Yeah. Please get your friends to come and join as well. Friends, family, anyone. Everyone and anyone we want you to join. We've got a little um, giveaway coming up between Christmas and New Year so it might be worth keeping an eye out for that. It's actually a really lovely little prize um, and that's about it for today. That's about it. So we will take a photograph of this for a thumbnail and you'll see the finished article at the end of this video. Absolutely. We'll see you all again tomorrow. Hope you're having a lovely build up to Christmas and love you all. Bye bye. Bye.